Welcome to Healthy Eats. Um, at a time when columns and articles about food are ubiquitous, and this was for those who get into today's Herald, here's the parade cover, just waiting for us, and too often contradictory, where yesterday's command to eat more carbs, or eat more fats, or less fat, or the importance of oily fish, becomes a scare headline only days later. Janet Von Brill, sitting to my immediate right, PhD, RD, LDN, is one of the nation's leading experts in the field of nutrition, health, fitness, and cardiovascular disease prevention. She's been published in noted scientific journals, such as the International Journal of Sport Nutrition and International Journal of Obesity, and published and quoted in publications including Shape, Prevention, Men's Health, First for Women, Women's World, and others. Her nutrition consulting clients include Procter & Gamble and Sports Club LA Miami, a regular on TV shows and radio programs, and in magazines and newspapers, the release of her new book, Cholesterol Down, 10 Simple Steps to Lower Your Cholesterol in Four Weeks Without Prescription Drugs, has fostered appearances on NBC6, WPBT, and Comcast. An adjunct professor at Florida International, where she teaches a graduate level course in nutrition, Dr. Brill received her master's degree and a doctorate in exercise physiology from the University of Miami, and her second master's in dietetics and nutrition from FIU. On a personal note, she's completed four marathons, countless 5K, 10K, half marathon road races, and recently completed the Avon three-day 60-mile walk for breast cancer research, something I did about five years ago here. A semi-vegetarian, she eats fish. She lives in South Florida with her husband, three children, and golden retriever, Simba. Good morning, or almost afternoon. I'd like to begin by, first of all, uh, saying what an absolute honor it is for me uh, to be standing here speaking, to have been invited as a speaker or as an author at this most prestigious event. Um, when I say that this is one of the experiences of my lifetime, I'm certainly not exaggerating. So I'd like to really begin by uh, reading a part of the dedication uh, to you for my book. This book is dedicated to my father, Rudy Vaughn, who died of a massive heart attack in 1982. Perhaps it was my father's untimely death from cardiovascular disease that ultimately inspired me to follow my career path in nutrition and wellness. I only hope that I can prevent others from suffering his same fate. So my father died of heart disease, and just out of curiosity, if you could raise your hand, if, and if you or anyone you know or love has uh, been affected or been touched by a heart, heart disease or stroke. So I think if you look around the room, you can see that's pretty much everyone. And the reason I have people do that is because I wanted to open your eyes to the problem in this country, and that is that cardiovascular disease, and when I mention cardiovascular disease, it's, it's really an umbrella term, but it refers mostly to heart attacks and strokes, which account for the majority of deaths from cardiovascular disease. So, as I was saying, cardiovascular disease is far and away the leading cause of death of people in this country and in the developed world. And according to the World Health Organization, by the year 2010, uh, cardiovascular disease will be the leading cause of death in developing countries as well. So, ultimately, the process of atherosclerosis or uh, plaque formation is killing off the human race. So it is something that uh, everyone, and certainly all Americans, should keep in mind that uh, the um, cause of death, far and away for most Americans, is going to be heart, heart disease or stroke. Um, and if you put all the deaths from all forms of cancer, and diabetes, and accidents, and lung disease all together, cardiovascular disease still kills more people. So th that's kind of a very eye-opening when you think about it. So that's, um, that's the bad news. Uh, oh, by the way, not only the uh, physical and emotional toll, this disease uh, is quite expensive. So it is the most expensive disease to treat. 
and in fact takes a, a huge toll on our economy to the tune of about $431 billion just for 2007 alone. So uh, you look at that whole uh, scenario, and it really, uh, I think, would behoove all Americans to practice a heart-healthy lifestyle. Uh, it would benefit all of us. So that's um, one of the messages that I would like to get across. If you're a woman, uh, being in private practice, I get this all the time. Most women, when I bring up the idea of heart disease or stroke, they're like, well, you know, it's my husband I'm worried about him getting a coronary. And what I would like to get across is that um, 50,000 more women uh, die from heart disease and stroke than men. So this is clearly the leading cause of death of women. Uh, in this country, and uh, a lot of people doesn't, for some reason, strike the emotional chord that breast cancer does. Um, uh, breast cancer is, of course, a totally under understandable anxiety, but I would like women to know that if you look at the odds, um, one in 30 women will die of breast cancer versus one in 2.6 from heart attack and stroke, so that is a, another reason why women should all be living a heart-healthy lifestyle. So, the bad news. What's the good news? The good news is that 80% of all cardiovascular diseases can be prevented. You don't have to get a heart attack or stroke. can be prevented with simple lifestyle change. And uh, that is really the, um, another message I wanted to get across. It's, it's not so difficult to uh, eat a bowl of oatmeal and an apple a day, and uh, it really will affect uh, your ability to uh, ward off or protect against this uh, disease.